you tell me a little bit about what you did for the Thanks, bro. Yeah. Uh, I helped work in the uh, child sex crimes division. Uh, we went after uh, child pornography, uh, child sexual exploitation, yeah, child trafficking. Yeah. And I was here all the uh, South West Group. So how did you find out about today's uh, uh, social media. I also have uh, terrible. Uh, friends that are my terrible to photographer. Uh, <laughs> to, uh, I to this, and I also support uh, <laughs> as, well, uh, as well as the sheriff's office as well. And I do want to ask um, about the guns that you want to call When you're a girl, who are you going to call? The police! If it's necessary to bring them out. With all the uh, Antifa backed and uh, violent fueled uh, riots, they're, they're not protests, they're riots that's going around the country. Uh, the Oath Keepers take a stand that we support your First Amendment right, as well as all rights uh, under the Constitution. However, we also are out, our mission is to protect uh, life and also help uh, law enforcement. That's why we're here today. We have a program called Back to Blue, and uh, we're here pretty much to land. We've already coordinated, we did coordinate with El Paso PD. They know that we're here, who we are. Uh, they, they appreciate our assistance. Um, we're not here as any type of law enforcement uh, capacity. We're just a a deterrent for anyone that, that should try to cause harm to uh, our law enforcement because let's face it, I mean, not every cop is a bad cop. So it's like anything, you have your good and your bad, but the, the few bad that are out there in the world give the good a bad name. And that's Oath Keepers takes a good strong point that we support our law enforcement, but we also hold accountable our law enforcement. So when they do wrong, we call them on it when they when they're being attacked like it is now. We take a uh, firm stance and we support them. And are they loaded? If you don't mind me asking. Yes, we are. Uh, Do you think it's sort of intimidating for no. people to see? No. If you're afraid of a gun, that, that is a personal problem. That's an uh, education it's problem. A, it's an education thing because we have the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is not meant or was written as such. If you're afraid of it, get a work and do away with it. Just as it is everyone's right to protest, whether good or bad. It is our right to, you know, defend, uh, and that's why we're not fully kitted up. You know, we're just, there's no need for it. We're just here. It's a Second Amendment uh, thing for us, as well as uh, back in the blue, as we said. Do you think things are, hopefully, don't get out of hand, or what are you expecting? That's always, that's always the, the hope, is it's just going to be a quiet night. Uh, as I said, we're just, we're not here in any law, uh, law enforcement capacity. Uh, we're just here for support and as a buffer. We, Hopefully, as a deterrent, should anyone decide to uh, use violence against the law enforcement, just the mere presence should be enough. Um, and do you think that today is maybe like a good day to, to maybe try to have a civil discourse with somebody who may not believe the same thing as another? Again, person? I mean, it's the the Constitution wasn't written when if you're upset, that's not the exercise of our rights. As a veteran, my, my my personal stance is as a combat disabled veteran, my oath of office. And, and my allegiance to this country does not know any sex, race, religion, or creed. I took an oath to only the Constitution to Americans. Whether you're for or against the police is irrelevant to me. However, how you go about it is what's relevant to me. If you're peaceful, that's, that's the hope. But should you decide to further escalate your voice as, and get physical, that's where we prefer, uh, provide that buffer as a deterrent. I do, uh, but not intimidation. But yeah, not 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 to intimidate, to educate, and to show support. And if you can look at her, I'm going to ask you the question. But you can look at her. Uh, what's your thought on the whole defund the police thing? Uh, it's a useless concept because where's that money going to go? You defund the police, now you're going to have police laid off. You're going to have uh, certain services that are covered under law enforcement are going to be impeded. You're going to have, uh, most likely it's going to come from the pension fund. So now you have officers who are perfectly innocent, their their livelihoods are going to be at stake. They didn't they didn't ask for all those violence and bad publicity. You know, so why, why should the whole group be punished? Um, you know, if you look at places like uh, uh, Minnesota that is, is, as we speak, are trying to abolish their police department, well, who, who, who are they going to call? When someone does them wrong, there's no police. Sounds like it's turning into and a George Floyd protest. To be everywhere at every oh, yeah, time. yeah. The, uh, so, okay. the Marxists are out. Yeah. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to add that we made it to ask you about what, what you guys are out here and, and what you expect to see this evening? Just, as it is right now, we hope it stays the same. Pretty peaceful, pretty quiet. Uh, and again, we're, we're not out here to intimidate. We're out here to support our law enforcement. Again, as I said earlier, uh, we ran everything 
while we planned it up for this, we ran it by law enforcement. They, they're well, well aware and well supportive of why we're here, why we're here with them and for them. Uh, the community so far has been pretty perceptive. Uh, you know, we haven't had any negative encounters yet, and that's hopefully that's that's the way it stays. Awesome. Well, that's everything that I had. Thank you guys.